Come on and lift a praise unto the Lord. Come on, stand over the building. If you love the Lord, if God has been good to you, if God has been good to you, if God has been good to you, if you need something from the Lord, won't you say, yes, God? Say, here I am, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Our scripture reading for this morning is going to come from Psalms. Psalms 134, and it reads, Behold, bless ye the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord, which by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. The scripture reads again, lift your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. I'm going to read that one more time. The scripture says, lift your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. The Lord that made heaven, the Lord that made earth. Lift your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. And when you lift those hands, lifting those hands is a sign of surrender. Glory to God. So, Father, we surrender. God, we surrender. We surrender our worries. We surrender our doubts. We surrender our fears. We surrender our ear ailments. We surrender our hurts. We surrender our pains. We surrender our pride. We surrender our ego. We surrender our carnality. We surrender our humanity. We lift our hands as a sign of surrender. And God, why do we surrender? God, we surrender because we need you to rule. We need you to be Lord. We need you to be God. We need you to be king. We need you today. We need you to set free. We need you to heal. We need you to deliver. We need you to serve the gifts. We need you now to replace sorrow with joy. We need you to remove the spirit of heaviness. We need you. We put up our hands and surrender. God, because we need you. As the saints of all would say, we need you. Lord, we need you every hour. God, we need you. So bless. Bless us now. Savior, bless. Bless us now. Bless us now. Bless us with your presence. Bless us with your power. Bless us with your presence. Bless us with your power. Bless us with your presence. Let the strong right hand of God move in this place. Let the spirit of the Almighty God reign in this place. Move by your spirit. Have your way in the sanctuary. Have your way in the sanctuary. Have your way in the sanctuary. We command our hands to clap. We command our minds to focus. We command our bodies to surrender. God, we will bless your name. 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 On today, let our worship and our prayer go up as sweet incense before the Lord. God, be magnified, be glorified, be exalted. We give you honor. We give you praise. In the mighty and the matchless name of Jesus. Let the church say amen. And let the church say amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Can we lift up our voices?
is in the sanctuary today. Can we create a sound today? Come on and lift your hands in the room. Hey! We came to serve a mighty God. Did you come to serve a mighty God today? Did you come to bless a mighty God today? Come on, let me hear your praise in the house. Let me see you clapping your hands. Let us go into the house of the Lord. Hey. I came running and leaping and shouting. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. We put on the garment of praise today. Hey. Come on, if he's great in your life. Come on and testify hey. with your hands and with a shout of praise. Glory, a 
glory and splendor, great and mighty is he. Let the church say, great and mighty is he. Hey, great and mighty is he. Clothing glory, array and splendor, great and We talk about a great God. Has he been great? Clothing glory. Great and mighty is he. Great and mighty is he. Yes, Lord. Great and mighty is he. Clothing glory, array and splendor. Great and mighty is he. One more time, say. Great and mighty is he. Great and mighty is He, clothed in glory, array in splendor. Great and mighty, He's great and mighty. Great and mighty, He's great and mighty. Great and mighty, hey, He's great and mighty. Great and mighty, great and mighty. Great and mighty, He's great and mighty. Great and mighty, hey, He's mighty to save. Great and mighty, hey, He's mighty to heal. Serve a mighty God. Great and mighty. He's great and mighty. 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 Do you serve a mighty God? Great and mighty. Do you worship a mighty God? Great and mighty. He's holy and righteous. Great and mighty. He is the great redeemer. Great and mighty. He's great and mighty. Great and mighty. He's Faithful God. Great breaker, great and mighty, great and mighty, great and mighty. He's mighty to save, great and mighty. He's mighty to deliver, great and mighty, great and mighty, great and mighty. Now, right there, put your hands on it. Come on, hey, come on, say. We serve a mighty God. We serve a mighty God. We serve a mighty God. We serve. We serve a mighty God. Do you serve a mighty God? What has He done for you lately? We serve a mighty God. Hey, we serve a mighty God. Hey, we serve a holy God. Hey, we serve a holy God. A faithful God. Hey, we serve a faithful God. Hey, has He been faithful in your life? Has He made ways out of no ways? We serve a faithful God. Hey, there's nobody like Him. Hey, He's a covenant keeping God. Hey, He keeps all His promises. We serve a faithful God. He's the only one that can make a way. We serve a faithful God. We serve a faithful, hey, God. We serve a faithful God. Hey, He's the only one. Hey, He's the strong one. Hey, we serve a faithful God. Hey, we serve a faithful God. And we bless the faithful God. And we serve. Now, right there, put your hands on it and shout in this place. You, but my God is alive and well. He 
does all things well and he deserves all glory and all honor and all praise for waking us up this morning. We give you glory for making ways, for being a great provider, just for being God, for being sovereign. We serve, we serve, we serve a faithful God. We serve a faithful God. We serve a faithful God. Just think about that one thing. What prayer request you have before the Lord? We serve. He was the only one that could do it. He was the only one could do it. We serve. We serve. We serve a faithful. We serve a faithful. Hey, we serve a mighty God. We serve a mighty. He wins wars with his right hand. He is a strong God. He's a mighty God. He's the great I am. Hey, he is the great I am. He is the great. Shout if you serve a mighty God. Hey, just say it one time. Oh, we serve, we serve, we serve, we serve. Who do y'all serve? What about your God? What is the mighty in your life? We serve. We tell the earth, we tell every nation that there's one Lord, hey, one faith, one baptism. His name is Jesus. There's no other name like Jesus. There's no other name like Jesus. Hey, we serve. We serve a mighty God. We serve. Just bow down, down before him. Hey, the 24 elders, hey, cast down their crowns and call them holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy. We serve. We serve. Somebody lift up a shout. Come on and lift up a shout to a mighty God. He deserves a mighty shout. He deserves a mighty shout. Hey, yes, Lord. so holy to me. Hey, I call you holy. Your name is holy. Holy you are and holy you'll be. Yeah, yeah. Come on and sing with me. I call you holy. I call you holy. Your name is holy. Your name is holy. Yes, Lord. You are 
agreement that is mighty, that is holy. Yeah. Shout yeah. 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 We say it yeah. in the air. Yeah. That is good. Yeah. That is holy. Yeah. That is righteous. Yeah. That is mighty. Yeah. That he is. Yeah. That he is. Yeah. He's the word. Yeah. Was the word. Yeah. Is the word. Yeah. yeah. yeah.
to the depths of my soul. Oh, take a second right there and begin to admonish God for who he is. Give him a fresh yes this morning. Yes, Lord. Yes to your will. Yes to your ways. Yes to your will. Yes to your way. This is your moment to submit and surrender. This is your moment to submit and surrender to him. Oh, my God. Oh, God, we say yes to you this morning. We admonish you from the bottom of our hearts, from the depths of our soul. God, we say yes to you again. 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 As I'm praying on this end, I want you to begin to lift up the name of the Lord on that end. As the word of God encourages us, when two or more gather together, God is in the midst of us, that God inhabits the praises of his people. So there's going to be an a, a act and a reaction today. I, as I pray, I need you to respond to the prayer in prayer of your own because I want God to be able to hear from you today. Oh, he hears me, but I want him to hear your heart this morning because we believe God to be a miracle worker and a way maker. We believe God to be a miracle worker in a way maker. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we bless, we honor and glorify your holy and righteous name. Father, from the rising of the sun to the going down of the sun, your name is to be praised. Father, we call you righteous. We call you faithful. We call you just and we call you true. Father, we thank you that your word encourages us that at the very lifting of our head, God, at the very lifting of our head. Oh, you're not hearing me this morning. At the very lifting of our heads, we get to make room for the King of glory to enter in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your head, O ye gates, and make room for the King of glory to enter in this morning. Father, we come boldly before the throne of grace in a time of, of help, God, to, to, to attain some kind of help from you. That, Father, at this moment, we give you our hearts, our minds. We give you our spirits. We give you our soul. Father, we lay down our arts. We lay down our cares. We lay down our worries. God, the doctor's report that we came in with, we leave it at the altar. The disagreement that we came in with, we leave it at the altar. The sickness and disease that we came in with, we leave it at the altar. The headache that we came in with, we leave it at the altar. We believe you to be a God of suddenly. And Father, by faith today, we believe we have the victory in our Lord Jesus Christ. So Father, at this very moment, whatever was ailing us, we give it to you. Whatever was troubling us, we give it to you. Father, in this very moment, we call you the deliverer. We call you the restorer. We call you the redeemer. We call you Jehovah Rapha. 
We call you Jehovah Nisi. We call you Emmanuel, for you are with us. So, Father, as we extol Jesus, we thank you that for unto us a child was born, for unto us a son was given, and the government shall rest upon his shoulders. We thank you today, God, that he shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace, of whom the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. So, God, we ask and declare the name of Jesus to our trouble. We declare the name of Jesus to our home. We declare the name of Jesus to our children. We declare the name of Jesus to our spouse. We declare the name of Jesus to the atmosphere. Father, let anything that is not of you in this place today, God, let it be removed by the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we ask that you begin to stir up the living water in this place today, God. Every dry place on the inside of us, we ask that you will replenish it, restore it, and refresh it in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let praises begin to rise. Let worship begin to take place. Father, bring us out so that you might bring us in. We thank you today, God for transformation. We thank you today, God, for the shifting in our bodies. We thank you today, God, for the raising of the dead areas. We thank you today, God, for the defeat of the enemy. We thank you today, God, that every thought is being bring captive unto the obedience of Jesus Christ. Father, we rebuke the spirit of suicide. We rebuke the spirit of depression. We rebuke the spirit of oppression, God. We thank you today that in you is liberty, that in you is freedom, that in you is joy. So, Father, be our joy today. Be our strength today. Be our deliverer today. Be our joy today in the mighty name of Jesus. So, Father, as we submit to you this morning, we ask that today is today, that we are set free, that we are restored, that we are made a part. Bless this day, God, in every way that you can as we open our ears to hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. We pull on the anointing. We pull on the grace. We pull on the power. We pull on the authority. We pull on the name of Jesus because at the very name of Jesus, every knee has got to bow and every tongue must confess, God, that you are the one true Lord. So, Father, bless this day with your presence. 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 It's in Jesus' name I pray. Let us all say amen, amen, and amen again. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. At this moment, y'all, we get to enjoy our great time of pastor love. So I need everybody on this side of the church. I want you to meet somebody on the other side. And everybody on this side of the church, I want you to find at least 10 or 20 people. And as you give them a fist bump, I want you to declare over their life. But thanks be to God that you have victory in Jesus Christ.
into their life but I want you to keep that same excitement and joy because it's offering time in the temple amen amen it's offering time in the temple hallelujah if you don't have an envelope or you need one just raise your hand and one of our ushers or greeters will get you one we always take time to honor God through obedience we thank God that he gives seed to the sword and at these moments that we have an opportunity to give our heart to God. It's not about your seed, it's about your heart. We thank God for these opportunities to give our heart to God. And we honor God in the things that he has given us. We bless God for an opportunity to sow into the house because our seed is to go into the storeroom, amen. As you prepare that seed, I want you to begin to stand and begin to wave that seed in the atmosphere. And even while you're there, if you want to, it's on you if you want, but if you want to, I want you to speak the good news of the gospel towards that seed and your family and begin to admonish and just worship God and thank God for the opportunity to sow. I'm pretty sure everybody has a testimony about God. There was one time I didn't have anything to give. There was one time I didn't have nothing but my hand to give. God, I didn't have any seed. I didn't have anything, any lint in my pocket to give, but, but oh, thanks be to God who gives us the victory through Christ Jesus. We thank God for giving us the seed we have today because we know if it had not been for the Lord being on our side, God, we don't know where we would be. But God, today we can say we've seen you move. 
we've seen your works, we've seen your glory, and we've seen your power. And we're honored to show into the storehouse. So if you got that seat, everybody else, I want you to go ahead and stand to your feet. And I want you to get excited this moment. Get excited this morning. God is good. God is faithful. God is just. We're excited about God. We're excited to just call on the name of God. Father, we thank you, we honor you, and we bless you for this seed. We thank you for this opportunity to sow. We thank you for the releasing of every resource that the kingdom of God needs to be advanced in the earth as it is in heaven. We thank you, Father, for many doors opening because of the obedience of the heart of your people. Father, we don't give out of compulsion. We don't give grudgingly. But, Father, today we thank you that we get to give from a cheerful heart. Father, we give because we love you. So, Father, let this seed go into the ground here called the Embassy Church and let it reproduce everything that's needed for the people of God to be blessed in this place. We thank you and honor you for everything that you do, for everything that you are, and for who you continue to be. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us all say amen, amen, and amen again. You can now bring your seeds. every seed that has been sown. Father, we seal these seeds by the authority, the power, the grace of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father, for the return, Father, that your word does not return void to us. So, Father, bless every obedient heart in this place today. God, open doors that no man can shut, close doors off of their lives that no man can open. God, continue to allow them to be the head and not the tail above all and not beneath. We bless you and honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us all say amen. Amen. And amen again. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. Can we give the Lord a hand praise? Hallelujah. Can we just begin Hallelujah. to draw our minds in and go deeper in our worship and our praise? Come on, let's just fill the room with the worship, the adoration from your heart. Let us hear it. Let the Father hear your voice, Prince. Hallelujah. Come on, let's speak well of him. He deserves all the glory and the honor. That's it. Come on. Hallelujah. He's worthy. He's worthy. Come on, tell him how worthy he is. it when you say that to him. You're worthy. You're wonderful. Yes. That's it, church. Speak well of the Father. You're worthy. You're holy. You're mighty. Yes, 
Lord. Sweet worship. Yes, Lord. He loves to hear it. Are you lifting up your voice? Can we go right here? Sustain me. Don't leave me. Stay there. Going. Hallelujah. Everybody lift up your hands in this room. If you reverence the holy God, if you reverence the mighty God. And if God has done anything for you, your hands should be lifted and raised in this room. We take authority over this atmosphere now in Jesus' name. Father, you're worthy, you're worthy. Tell him he's worthy. Tell him he's worthy. How much you love him, how much you adore him, how much you honor him. There's this song that comes to mind that says, You're worthy of it all. You're worthy of it all. For from you are all things, and to you are all things. Stay right there. You deserve the glory. I'm going to sing it again. It says, you're worthy of it all. Talk to the Lord. Yes, Lord. You're worthy of it all. That's it. That's it. You got it? For from you are all things. And to you are all things. You deserve the glory. I'm going to give you, you got one more time. We're going to do this together. Say, you're worthy of it all. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Yeah, talk to the Father. You're worthy of it all. Oh, for from you are all things. From you are all things. And to you are all things. You deserve the glory. You deserve the glory. I'm going to go right here. So we give you all. So we worship you, our Lord. Now you should know this one. You are worthy to be praised. Sing it with me. Say we give you all. Worship to your Father. Give him glory. All the glory. Thank you. 
worship you. I live, I live to worship you. That's why you were created. You were created to worship him. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live, I live to worship you. Just in case you were wondering, you were created to worship. To worship, to worship you.
and his mercy endureth forever. Praise for the Lord is good and his mercy endureth forever. Praise ye the Lord for the Lord is good and his mercy endureth forever and ever and ever and ever and when you get to the end of the forever, and ever, and ever, and ever, give God praise in this house. Inamando so, Ramatande kosiye, yan so ba deku, Romatu siye, anduru robo siye, amanando hoko bo, inamande se. Roma mandoku, ina mandase. Roma mandoku, he mandosi. He no no bokusi, he na mandasi. Rama kande ko ha, he na rabasi. Roma bokusi, Rama na nansi. Ah, the Lord says I'm meeting needs today. Ha ha ha. I'm solving problems. Ha. I come to bless my people today. Roba babansi e koma nantande ko. Roba nansi e koma tande ke. Ina na na manda sande ko. Ina na na manda sande ko. Ina na manda si le roba tuns. E. I says I come to solve a problem. You may not have a problem. Your neighbor, go back, stay with me. Don't experiment, stay with me. In my news, not working hard today because the Lord's already working. In my news, watch this. And I explain the enemy. I want you to be excited about what I'm about to tell you. The enemy hates the heck out of you. You should be excited that he hates you. Uh, oh, watch this. Why does the enemy hate you? Every time you step into the house of the Lord, Every time you give God praise, every time you worship, every time you say thank you, you are a constant reminder that he is defeated. He is a con you are a constant reminder that victory belongs to Jesus. You are a constant reminder of what the Father looks like. You are hated because you keep getting up. You are hated because you won't stop believing. You are hated because you please God with your faith, not your perfection. Buses, I'm going to share something with you. I believe the Lord's already doing it. This region Apostolic functioning ministries. Let me explain it. Enemy does not have a problem with church, has a problem with the church. Doesn't have a problem with praise breaks. He has a he has a problem with the power. If you know what to do with the praise breaks. If you're doing it just to sweat out your soup, if you're doing it because that's kind of what mom and them did, then he's fine with you. But when you understand the power of a corporate praise, 
when you understand that he inhabits the praises of his corporate people so you can come in here struggling you can come in here messed up but if you can get in the corporate praise God comes and he sits and he puts his throne he puts a seat right in the middle of the praise and when the king sits down the power goes out when God sits down in the midst of you please know things are about to change for your life that's why he does not want you to praise he does not want you to understand the power he wants you to stay in a religious function and a traditional function but when you understand that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but are mighty for the pulling down of strongholds that every time you praise together something's got to come down together if you praise with your brother and you praise with your sister something's got to come down for your brother and for your sister if you praise together something's got to come down together poverty has got to come down sickness has got to come down if you believe and understand if we praise together if we praise together he will be in the midst of us together and miracles and signs and wonders begin to pray If you understood the power of a corporate praise, he told Jehoshaphat when they were surrounded by three nations, the Lord says, the battle is not yours, it's the Lord's. He says, now I want you to go out there I want you to send the dancers and send the flaggers and send the folk. Wait a minute, we, we, we need weapons. He said, I'm going to show you a new weapon. And I want you to stand out and say, For the Lord is good and his mercy endureth forever. And he says, I want you to keep saying it over and over and over again so that when the enemy hears your praise, tell your neighbor, I'm not fighting today. I'm not going to fight today because the battle of our city, the battle, the battle is not, the battle is not yours, it's the Lord's. We're going to praise together. We're going to worship together. Let God deal with the enemies in here. Let God deal with it. Let God deal with it. But we're going to praise together. We're going to worship together. Let God. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. What's that? That's your fire. Was that your last? That's it. Watch this. Lord said, I'm going to multiply that thing. You take this hundred. I, I, I give God the praise. Give God the praise. Give God the praise. Give God the praise. Give my time. I'm a, I'll do your fire for a hundred because the battle is not of somebody. I ain't got the fight to take. The battle is not ours, but it's the Lord's. God's doing it. God's doing it. We just need the praise. Can I get a corporate praise? Can we praise Him? Can we worship Him?
word says in Acts. I want you to say something about to happen. Something about to happen. Something about to happen. Something about to happen. Watch this. It ain't just for one or two people. It's for us. The Bible says our father. It's going to be our thing. Say all of us are about to go up together. All of us are about to come into this thing. All of us are about to come. All of us are about to be healed. All of us are about to be set free. All of us, this is not an individual. This is a corporate move. Thirty-two. It says, "Now the multitudes, those who believe, were of one heart and one soul. Neither did anyone say that any of the things he possessed was his own, but they had all things in common, and with great power, the apostles gave witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great." Grace, mega grace, was upon them all. Y'all, y'all, watch this. Nor was there anyone among them who lacked. For all who were possessors of lands or houses sold them and brought the proceeds of the things that were sold, laid them at the apostles' feet, and they distributed to each as anyone had need. Watch this. The community of God, this ain't the world. The community of God had houses and lands, and they sold some of the excess and then brought it to the apostles and laid it at their feet, and then they began to distribute it which means the blessing didn't come from the pulpit. The blessing came out of the people. Look, 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 y'all catch this. I need you to get prepared that God is going to bless you to be a blessing. The days of, of just one man standing in front of you, I'm here to give direction and leadership, but I'm not supposed to be the only one prospering. You supposed to be able to walk in here and say, see what the Lord has. So some, some, I wish I had. This isn't, this isn't the, but I, I believe that we're in a time that God is going to move amongst his people so that his people can take care of his people. Get your affairs in order. Get your credit together. Work on your budgeting. Learn how to invest because opportunity is coming. Great grace is upon. Great that that means an ability, a function, a power has come upon you that the praise break can't give you. I need you to get prepared of how you're going to function out there. I don't want your best day to be Sunday. I want your best day to be Monday when you got to go in places where there is no God but come out with spoils. God is sending you into places that there is no God but you're going to bring God and walk out with spoils that are necessary for you to be able to distribute because the scripture says that you are the head and not the tail and that you are a lender and not a borrower you're supposed to be moving currency but we shouldn't be talking about money that's why you broke your money is supposed to be moving and being distributed because God is distributing to you. You are the distributor of the distributor. Let me say it again. You are the distributor 
of the distributor. So God puts you on the earth so that you can, you have to prepare yourself for the opportunities that are coming your way. You won't have time to be sick. Tell your neighbor, I ain't got time to be sick. I ain't got time to be unhealthy. I ain't got time. I don't have time for this. I ain't got time for diabetes. I don't have time for cancer. I don't have time for any of these things. I got, I got to be healed. I ain't got time for my knees to hurt. I ain't got time for my hips to hurt. I don't have time for heart problems. I don't have time for any of these things. I got to be healed because there's things that I must now do and there's places that I must now go. I got dreams that must come to pass. I got a purpose that must be lived out. I don't have time for dysfunction in my marriage. I don't have time for dysfunction in my children. I don't have time for it. So I got to clean up what I messed up and put it back in God's hands and, and say, God, if you give me another opportunity, I promise you that I'll give it all unto you because you are worthy of it all. You are worthy of it all. In my mind, I want you to give God praise. Give God a corporate praise. Give God a corporate praise. Anytime the Lord lets me do something, he puts something on my heart. The Lord says, now do it. But there's great grace on the house. And so the Lord says, I want you to sow into a son, a faithful son. I want you to sow into somebody that ain't even expecting it. I want you to sow into somebody that keeps showing up. I want you to sow into somebody who's been faithful for you. You better take it. You better take it, son. You're going to hold up. You better receive it, son. But come on, take it. And here... Here's a little more on top of it. Here's some more. Receive it. And great grace. Oh, somebody better catch it. Come on. Get out my son to box it. And great grace. Get ready. Get ready! Get ready! bless y'all real quick if you watch this if you if you just gave to that now if you gave to that get here to the altar real quick I'm going to show you something I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. And the Bible says, a great grace was upon them all. So if you sold into him, God must sow back into you. Because you move promptly. And you move in obedience. So God must move according to how you move. 
lift your hands before the Lord and say, I receive, I receive the grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Now let the Holy Spirit rest upon you right now. Roma Sunday come. Oh, here he come. Here he come. Here he come. Here he come, y'all. Here he come, y'all. Here he come, y'all. Here he comes, y'all. Here he comes, y'all. Here he comes, y'all. Receive, receive the grace. Receive the grace. Receive the grace. Receive the grace. Roma on Sunday come. Gain up on that Sunday come. Receive the grace. Receive the grace. off the rest. This is only the beginning. Because years ago, huh, when they tried to lure you out of here with money, but you said, no, I'm devoted. And you've stayed faithful throughout the years. And the Lord says, today, the scripture I was going to read today, the Bible says, when Pentecost happened, there happened to be some devout Jews from every nation under the heaven. And the word devout means to be committed, to be faithful, to be dedicated to have a zeal to take possession of. It meant when God gets ready to build something, he looks for a criteria. He looks for people that are devout, that he can now move to them being devoted. And because you've been devout, you've been devoted. The Lord has commanded the earth to yield this increase. You could have sold out a long time ago. You could have walked away from this church years ago when they were throwing money at you. But you said, this is the house that I believe in. This is where I'm planted. And you went through tough times. 
But the Lord says, I have abruptly disrupted your tough times today. Now what God does for one I want you to give a praise that God will disrupt your tough times in a moment. God will disrupt your tough times in a moment. In a moment. Remain thankful. Come on. That's just... What I love about the Lord, he didn't even see me coming. I had to make him lift up his eyes to see what God was. When you're devoted to God, you don't even see when your blessing is coming because you're so devoted to the work. You're so immersed that God got to tap you and say, here, blessing is here. I want you to look up because blessing is here. I want you to look up because blessing is here. I want you to look up because blessing is here. Watch this. <laughs> Let me tell you what has happened to the church in America. struggle when it happens for other people because we've been trained to only hear the word for my stuff but it's a community word because Charlie represents a seed planted in here today don't get jealous celebrate because something's been planted I'm tired of reading this stuff, but not seeing this stuff. Uh, let me let me talk. I'm tired of reading this stuff, but not seeing this stuff. And so when you all move without being told, not that I was expecting you to, but when you said, because you know he's faithful. So because everyone's watched your faithfulness, they eagerly went to sow into you because you're good ground. But even better than that, Charlie, what did I say this morning? Obedience is better than sacrifice. And the highest honor you can give to God is old. So when you moved, behind me. I am about to lay him out. Frank, oh Frank, come on. Stand behind him. Stand back a little bit. Look, let me show you how this thing works. When I moved in obedience to do for you, then whatever has to come to me has to now move in obedience to come to my life. Whatever's in obedience to him must now come because obedience pulls favor. Oh, y'all better catch that. Everywhere I go, because I'm obedient, favor's got me. So I'm never without, because I always got favor, because goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my... And all I got to do is be obedient to do that and watch the favor of God follow my life. So watch this. I need you to, everybody that's sold, look behind you. Do y'all see anybody? Do y'all see anybody? 
Did y'all see anybody? Okay, because you said no, that means you missed the point. When you came to him and did what God told you, then what God has for you has to now come. You got to work the principle in faith. You can't be afraid to sow. So watch this. I gave them everything I had in my pocket, but that wasn't everything I had because something's coming for me and something's coming for me and something's coming for me and something's coming for me. Oh, y'all got to catch that. Let me change that. Let me change that. I said something's coming for me. Mess that up. Something's coming for us. Because what God does for one, he's no respecter of So when God begins to move like that, you just got to be under the grace. And don't be, no, watch this. Don't get caught up that you had to receive today. Because your tomorrow is going to be different than your today. Today you may have to receive, but tomorrow you're going to be the one giving. So the Lord has to get you up from where you... Lord has to change your life so he can move through your life. So there's all of our times in our lives we had to be on this side so that we can come on this side. So Charlie, you need to... See, y'all don't know I know of the bass guitars you've given to people, helping them, and they walked away with your stuff. I know the stuff you've done in private to help you. I know the sacrifices you've made. And God let you sow for years. They bring you to a day to say, it's harvest time. Watch this. Let me, I'm, I'm done. Y'all didn't sow into Charlie. Say, we didn't sow into Charlie. We sowed into obedience. Because Charlie is not the blessing. It was your obedience that you moved promptly and did that and God begins to now move. So for somebody here, I need you to give God a praise real quick. I'm going to tell you this. This ain't corny stuff. God has to change your life. Who am I talking to? Here's what I learned over life. Sometimes you got to sow your way out of poverty. We don't talk about that no more because people get, I don't want nothing. That went to him. him. It's not about so much who you give it to. It's when you do it from the one who told you. So it don't make it more blessed if you put it in my hand. It's obedience that God is after. Watch this. When you sowed in obedience and you move quickly, you begin to sow seeds of speed. Where you going, favor? Where you going, goodness and mercy? Y'all supposed to follow me all the days of my... You can't leave me because you tired goodness and mercy got to follow me all the days of my life. Tell somebody, it's in the book. Everything in God is yea and amen. If he promised you 
and he's faithful. Even if it takes a few years, he's still faithful. And the enemy's job is to get you to abandon God at the moment of your break. <laughs> he wants you to walk out on God at the moment things were about to open up for you. But it's this scripture that says, don't grow weary. What's the rest of it? And well doing, for in due season, you shall reap if you faint not. If you know the scripture, why you fainting? If you know what the word says, why are you fainting? Because you're not getting your results. Your results and God's results are two different kind of results because you don't know how God going to do for you. Say suddenly. 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 You got to get that in your mind. Watch this. Gonna, yeah, hold on. Let me breathe here for a moment. Oh, I like that. Listen to this. We're done. I tell you, I ain't working. I'm letting grace work. You need something that even a preach word can't give you today. You need demonstration and you need a move of God that before you get home, some things have already sitting up ready for you. Can I tell y'all something real quick? Goodness and mercy. Wait, wait a minute. Goodness and mercy. Here. Mercy. Come here. Why are you standing in the middle? I forgot something. Oh, stand in the middle. Right there. Right there. Goodness and mercy to follow me all the days of my life. But the scripture also says, and the glory of the Lord shall be my rear guard. So every place I go, there's goodness, there's mercy, and there's glory. You don't know who I am. I'm a bad, bad boy. When I walk into the room, goodness, mercy, and glory are with me. I can change a moment. I can shift an atmosphere because goodness and mercy and glory are with me everywhere I go. I'm never alone. Oh, wait a minute. I need somebody else. I need one more. Wait, wait, wait. Come on, come on, one, go, go, come on, you, you got a nice suit, come on up here. Now you stand behind glory. Goodness and mercy to follow me all the days of my life. Glory of the Lord is my rear guard. Then behind all of this, someone call Emmanuel. The Lord is with us. <laughs> I got goodness, I got mercy, I got glory, and the Lord himself. Say, Emmanuel, the Lord is with us. The Lord is with us. The Lord is with us. Our Father. It's a corporate thing. Everybody wins. Now, forgive me, because the demonstration made me forget my point. <laughs> so, Holy Ghost, come on here. Wait a minute. I forgot about the I forgot about the Holy Ghost. Wait a minute. So goodness and mercy and the glory and Emmanuel. Wait a minute. Come here, Holy Ghost. Come on, Holy Ghost. Uh-uh, don't get behind me because you're my advocate. You're my standby, my counselor, my friend, the one that's always by my side, my wisdom, my knowledge, my understanding, my counsel, my might, my power, my spirit. Uh-huh. 
Oh, I says, I says, so look at all you got with you. That's why he says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Look at what all you Oh, I got one more. Go, go, come stand right here. Come, 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 come. Hey, come here. Revival, watch this. I got the Holy Ghost. I got goodness. I got mercy. I got the glory of the Lord as my real God. I got Emmanuel. But the Bible also says that the kingdom of God is within me. So I got the kingdom in me, the Holy Ghost in me, goodness and mercy following me. The glory of the Lord is my real God got my back. And Emmanuel, if God be for you, who can be against you? Look at who you got. Look who's on your side. Look who you got with you. How can you be depressed when you got all of this? Oh, wait a minute. I got one more. I got one more. Watch this. I need all y'all to go. Y'all four to go over there. Y'all go. Come on here. Come on. Get on up those steps. Come on here, golden girls. Get on up there. Watch this. Y'all, y'all. Y'all ready? Now, give me another four people over here. Come on, Kiana. Emily, come on. Come on. Y'all, come on. Give me four. Come on, come on, hurry up. Get on over there. Come on, get on up there. Watch this. Emmanuel, where you going? You got to stay in your place. Watch this. Got goodness and mercy. Got the glory of the Lord is my real God. I got Emmanuel that's with me. I got the Holy Ghost that's in me. I got the kingdom of God. That sent me, but Jesus said, if I have to, if I have to, I can call legions of Baby, I ain't never alone. Because if I ever get in a jam, I got legions of angels that I can call at a moment. So watch this. Come on, class. I got to move on. Goodness and mercy to follow me all the days of my life. The glory of the Lord is my real guard. Emmanuel is with us. The Holy Spirit is within me. The kingdom of God is on me and in me. And I got legions. Oh, y'all better catch that. But also, <laughs> I got one more, one more, one more here. Come, 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 I need another, I need, come on. Come, come, I need somebody, somewhere able. Come on, come on, able, quick body. Don, come here, since you stand there. Watch this. Come here, come, come here. I got something here. Goodness and mercy to follow me all the days of my life. I got uh, the glory of the Lord as my rear guard. I got Emmanuel who's with me. I got the Holy Ghost who's in me. I got the kingdom of God that's upon me. I got him. Watch this. And I got these legions of angels. But the Lord says, even with that, without faith, it's impossible to please him. So I need faith. I need you to stand right there, faith, because I need you always to be around, because none of this matters if I don't have faith. Now, faith, put your hands like this. Just keep your hands like there. Faith, faith needs something. Come, 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 I need come, come, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Girl, now I want that baby falling. Did you try to sue me? Uh-uh, uh-uh. Watch this, queen. Watch this. Hey, son. You're looking good. You're looking good. That's how I want to see you look. Watch this. 
I, you help me to remember me. I don't 50, my mind 55. I got goodness and mercy. <laughs> Follow me all the days of my life. I got the glory of the Lord as my rear guard. Emmanuel, who's with us. I got that. I got the Holy Spirit that's within us. I got the kingdom of God that's within us. And I got the angels, legions of angels ready to move. And I got faith. But there's one more thing missing. The word. And he says, and my word shall not return to me void but it shall prosper in the thing of which I sent it and the only reason I get to send the word because I got faith and I got faith because I got the kingdom and I got the kingdom because of the Holy Ghost so the Holy Ghost helps me to understand that goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and once I understand that I know that the glory of the Lord is my rear guard and because of that I know I got Emmanuel always with me and because of that because I'm an ambassador I've got angels so all I need now is to command God's word and send the word forth so it can prosper Now come on back. Now once the word goes forth and heals, I got to find something else for my faith that's in the word. So when y'all sold today by faith and obedience, you sent a word to your prosperity. Now go get it, word. Come here, work. Come here, work. Come here, work. Now, sometimes, sometimes life gets a little tough and we need a word from the Lord. But there's times when things get a little tight and the enemy ups the ante. So I need a couple of angels. I want you to stand on that side. You stand on this side. Stand on this side. Uh-uh, stay on this side. You grab the word by the hand. And you grab the word by the hand. Because the Bible says, when David, when Daniel prayed, the Bible says, and the Lord heard him and answered him. But the word was held up. But the word was held up a little bit. So he had to send Michael, the angels, to do battle in the atmosphere so that the word can go forth and come back. So y'all two, go fight. I want you to clear the way because I need my word to go forth. Oh, y'all got to catch that. Now, word, come back. That's just... So the Lord says to Daniel, I heard you the first time you prayed. I understood and I sent the word, but it was held up. Tell somebody, say, my word been held up. But today. (laughs) Say, but today. My word has been freed up, has been loose, and I receive the word of the Lord today. Come on, give God praise. Now, wait a minute. Come here, word. Come here, word. Watch this. Words, you can't move slow because they didn't believe slow. So the word moves to the speed of your belief. So say, now faith. Now move. Oh, somebody better catch that. That's why praise is so important. 
Because if I can praise him fast, if I can praise him, he'll move quickly. He'll move. Because I want you all to start praising. Start praising. Start praising. Stay right there. Watch this. Keep praising. Because I said it before. He inhabits the praises of his people. So when you surround him with praise and give him an atmosphere, he has to change your present reality and make it right according to his will. Watch this. Now look at, this isn't even a minimum of who you got with you. But look at how much God loves you to make sure you have a whole entourage. Every son of God is assigned an entourage. Every son of God that's in fellowship with God has an entourage from God because you're ambassadors. And because you're an ambassador, you represent the kingdom. So it is the king's responsibility to make sure you have an army and resources and intelligence. Tell somebody I'm never alone and I'm never without. Don't look at my life because it's, it's not the same in my spirit. I gotta catch that. I know I look a little rough today, but that's not my spirit. I may not have all the money in my wallet, but my father has a cattle on a thousand hills, and he also says the gold is mine and the silver is mine. What you tripping about? Watch this now. Let me flip it. He says, now seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Everything that God all is not just money. It's his resources of the heavens. Everything that he has, you have if you seek the kingdom. Because that's what sons do. Say I'm not broke. I'm just transitioning into godly wealth. I'm done. Look at all the cross did. All of this is because of the cross. I got to. I got to bring it in perspective that you didn't stumble across this. It's because of the. You're only benefiting from this because he died for us. So it makes you put in perspective the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ so that when we see all that we have, it should change the perspective of how we see ourselves. No matter what you've been through, no matter what has happened, You still are beloved by God. Oh, somebody got to catch that. You still are beloved by God. You got to keep that in your spirit. I'm beloved by God. Look at all that he went through to give me all this and say, that's my son. Lift it up. Everlasting doors. For the king of glory shall come in. You are a door for God to come through. So 
why you got to see yourself differently. The door that God wants to come through to change not only your life, but everybody's life that's attached to them. It's called purpose. Stop feeling sorry for yourself and count the breaths that you had since you've been in here. And thank God that you still got an opportunity to worship, to praise, but to live for God. See, we're so busy coming to church feeling sorry for ourselves, but not one time consider, look at all, see what the Lord has done. You got angels, you got glory, you got God himself, and you got God himself and the Holy Ghost, and then you got God himself in goodness, and you got God himself in mercy, and you got God himself in the kingdom, and you got God himself in faith, you got God himself in the word, you got God himself in the angels. You got all this God, and you tripping over rent, You tripping over rent? You tripping over a medical bill? You tripping over a job? And you got all got all this God. I need to do this for me. Right there. I need all y'all to just relax. That's sometimes what God looks at us. He bored. bored and tired of our whining and complaining and said, now see, look at all you got working for you. Not, wait a minute, I forgot another one. Come here, girl. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Let me stick this in here. And his grace. You got all of this. And you come in here sad and people got to beg you to praise. Who you been talking to all week that got you so sad in his presence? Look at all you got. All of this for one person. And everybody got this. He's no respecter of person. Everybody got this who believes in the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And you're sitting there holding your head down. And you don't know how hard it's been. It don't matter. It don't matter. Wait a minute. One more, one more, one more. Come here, sweetie. Come here, come, come, come. Come here, come, come here. Look at you. Look at you. Thank you. Come here. Oh, y'all better. Oh, y'all better bless the name. Some of y'all sitting there frowning. Look at all that the Lord, look and see what all you got. Not, you still got Emmanuel sitting back there with you. You got peace and grace and Angels, faith, the kingdom, the Holy Ghost, the word. You got goodness and mercy. You got the glory. You got Emmanuel. What else? I'm running out of folk to put on the pulpit. What else you need from God? You got all? Wait, I heard it. Come here, come, come, come. Who I heard you. Come, come here, come here, graduate. Come here, come here. Come on, joy. For the joy of the Lord is our strength. So we got joy. You got peace. You got grace. You got all this goodness and mercy. Emmanuel, you got the glory. You got angels. You got faith. You got the kingdom. You got the word. You got the Holy Ghost. be tearing this church up with praise because if I can praise them with all of this wait a minute wait a minute y'all stay right there come 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 stay right here stay right there stay right here because he also says and I got a cloud of witnesses 
I got some folk praying for y'all. Abraham praying for y'all. David praying. I got some people that's praying that you get this. Oh, y'all got to catch me. All of this for you. All of this for you. All of this for you. And 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 you can't smile. Not only am I going to give y'all life, I'm going to give you peace. All my ability, I'm going to give to you. So wherever you go, they will follow you in demonstration through my anointing on your life. So I'm going to give you me. So that you and I'm under so I'm going to give you me my ability so you can function like me in the earth with all of this let me stop I can go on and here go the cloud of witnesses saying come on here y'all come on here come on y'all got to come on come on Come on, come on, come on. Don't give up. Come on. Come on, come on. Push, push. Come on, push. Don't give up. Come on, lift your head up. Come on, come on. You can do this. Come on. You got something we didn't get. You get to have the Savior. We didn't get the Savior yet. You got a covenant that we didn't have. Come on, you can get it. You can get it. You can get it. You got people praying for you. You got folk believing in you. Worried about a bill. God says I can find gold in a fish mouth in a creek. What more will I do for you? If I can take care of the grass, the lily of the field, if they not worried about nothing, why are you worried? What much more do I think of you than grass? And I take care of grass. And you worried and you worried you had to see it differently today didn't you you're not alone you're not alone peace <laughs> may the peace of God the shalom of God come back upon you nothing missing nothing lacking nothing broken peace yenamando <laughs> rojo I know we got to go but you got to see this you got to see this. You got to see this. You're not by yourself. You're not broke. You just don't understand. You just don't understand what you have. That's why I'm here. Teach, coach, and father. So that if you grasp this, You'll never be the same again. When you look yourself in the mirror, you're going to see heads peeking out from behind you. Because goodness and mercy are going to remind you every morning. Oh, one more. Where is brand new mercies? He says, I'll give you brand new mercies every morning. Huh. How can you feel defeated with all of this? Yes, things haven't gone your way, but I still got a chance with all of this. No, yeah, you lost a job. 
but I still have the ability. Things ain't gone right in my marriage, but I still look at all I got. Yeah, I lost something, but look at Apostle, you don't understand. I'm a man. I'm supposed to be doing this. Yes, you are. But if you can see what God's given you, it'll help you to stand even stronger as a man and be devoted. You have more than you could possibly imagine. It says they'll be lacking nothing. So last week we paid for your college. Can you imagine? I only was able to really pay for a semester or two. But you will be to a place that you're going to pay off their whole education. I'm just planting a seed in you. What I do, you'll do greater. Because all of this is That's why the Bible says in heaven rejoice when a soul comes to God. Not just because they're not going to hell, but look at all the benefits. Bless the Lord, all my soul and all that's within me and forget not his benefits. This is your benefit package when you are saved. Oh, somebody better catch this. All of this is waiting on you when you say, yes, Lord. God, I yield, I yield. What must I do to be saved? There's a whole package waiting on you. Will there be one today? Will there be one to be saved today? Will there be one to rededicate their life today? Your benefit package is waiting on you. Y'all lift your hands. They're waiting on you. They're waiting on you. All of heaven is waiting Who's going to be saved today? Who's rededicating their life today? Ramazan de Kosa. Come on, package. Come on, come on. Come, 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 come. Come, come, come. Hug, come, come. Hug them, hug them, hug them. Come on, hug them, hug them. Hug them, hug them. Hug them, hug them. Come on, hug them. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Come on. Will there be another? Will there be another? Come on, check your room. Come on, check your room. Romaman Sunday Kosi. Now don't let him be. Watch this. Now now that he's coming home and he's confessing Jesus Christ or recommitting, don't leave him. Goodness and mercy. Go stand behind him. Glory of the rear guard, Lord. Glory of the Lord, rear guard, stand. Emmanuel, Holy Ghost, come by his side. Come on, kingdom. All the bit for his faith, because faith had to bring him down. So faith, you stand with him, because God gives all of us a measure of faith to believe. So God loved you so much that he gave you a part of him to believe him that you would come and walk back in who you are. Who? Are, where, where's joy coming? Where's joy? Where's peace? Where, where's? Come on, come on, y'all. Say there you go. Y'all got to say this is this is your package. Where's the angels? Where the angels? And where's the word? Word, come on and stand with them. Come on, come on, y'all got to. And we got these witnesses over here praying. We got these witnesses praying. All of this is yours. All of this is yours. Hey, man, huh? Oh, I wish I had some folk that would. And then the Lord loves you so much. He says, then I'm going to give you a family. A community. Because God puts the lonely in families. He doesn't, he says, it's not good for man to be alone. So he gives us church family, community. So we're never alone. Look at all that you get by just saying, yes, Lord, I yield, I yield. What must I do to be saved? Y'all pray with them. Come on, get them in, get them in, 
Get them in. Come on, Embassy Church. Check your own. Check your own. Check your own. Will there be another? Will there be another? Will there be another? Will there be another? Check your own. Check your own. Will there be another? Will there be another? If you don't have a church home, if you don't have a church home and you know this is where God has assigned you, come running too. You get another package too. You get a family. You get a community. You get a place. You get brothers and sisters. You're not the only child in here. Embassy Church, check your road. Check, check, check. Come on, check. Say, you got a home. 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 Ramanon sabande kosie. Ramananda se le kobo sande. Come, 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 come. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, some of y'all go over there. Some of y'all don't leave him. Some of y'all don't leave him. But some of y'all, they got it. Come on, there you go. There you go. Ramananda. Oh, come on, can the church give God praise? Can we celebrate? Can we celebrate? See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. Come on and give him praise all over the house. Give him praise all over the house. Hallelujah. Come here, son. Welcome. Right, I'm going to stand on here because you're tall. wide open for you. What was, was. But what is, it's going to be amazing for you. You believe that? You believe that? You're a good man. You ought to be an even gooder man in the name of Jesus. You know how to praise God? Do me a favor. Lift your hands and praise the Lord for me. Just praise him. There, there you go. Come on and praise him. Come on and praise the hitter. Come, 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 praise him, praise him. Come, come, all the men praising. All the men praising, all the men praising. All the men praising. It's a glorious day in the kingdom of God. In the name of Jesus. Come on and give God praise. Come on and give God. Y'all stand with us, stand with us. Come on, stand with us, stand with us. Ramaman Sokobatan de Kate. Ramanando si. Come on, stand with her. Come on. Come on, stand with her. Stand with her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My wife says, We're about to go. I know y'all. I love when God has his kind of services. Watch this. You can stay there. You ain't bothering me. Praise, you're the first of many. You're the first of many. People in your bloodline coming to the Lord today. People, Lord is going to send people to cross their path. I don't know where they are in the world, but to cross their path, to bring them into the kingdom of God because you let yourself be planted in God's garden. You let yourself receive the life of Christ. So the Lord says, I'm going to do you a favor. I'm going to touch your family. I'm going to visit your family. I'm going to save your house. I'm going to save your house. I'm going to save your house. Oh, I wish somebody had catch that. I'm going to save your house. Come on, y'all love on her. Come, come, come. Ramane Koso. Come, 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 come. Y'all love her. She. First lady, I need a favor. I need you to hug this young lady for a moment. Because there's something missing that the mother has to give her. 
just for a moment. I need you don't don't need nothing to look at. Just 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 give her a moment. Give her a moment. Give her a moment. There you go. There you go. Y'all love on. Come on, come on. Shake his hand. Shake his hand. Him I know somebody go. Yena na man so bande ka. Yena na man do se le krobo sande ko. Na ma man. Listen. There you go. There you go. I need all the men to come receive him. Even, even if you're not in leadership, all the men, come and receive him. Come and, it's, come on, we, we starting June off right. Come on, come on, men. Come on, come on. Come on, we in this thing together. We're in this thing together. All of y'all embrace. All of y'all embrace. Come on, come on, come on. Shift. Come on, come on, come on here. Come, 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 come. Come on and love on her. Come on, come on, come on. Come, 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 come on, come, come, come. Now, women, when it was your time, y'all was around here hollering and stuff. Come on and bless God for the men. Look at all these men at this altar. Look at all the men at this altar. Men do love the church. Men do love the Lord. You ain't seen nothing yet. There's going to be a men revival break out in this region. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on here. Love on them, love on them, love on them. Now, why y'all doing that? In an amondo see. I told y'all the Lord was going to meet a need today. I told y'all the Lord was going to meet some needs today. I told y'all the Lord was going to meet some needs today. I need some praise to go up right now. Are you filled with the Holy Ghost? Hey, man, no, so cold be here. Ramanando si le co. Let healing come through this place. Don't leave him by himself. Don't leave him by himself. Put your arms on his shoulder. Keep him, keep him, keep him, keep him. Let me say this to you before we dismiss about men. We'll walk alone if we have to. But it takes a lot for us to let our guard down. But when we find true brethren, when we find true brotherhood, we locked into it. But it takes us a minute to get there. So your yes got to be yes. And your no got to be no. Because all a lot of us men, all we've dealt with is people lying to us and letting us down. But it's going to change. Well, we're going to start being there for one another, not just the pastor, but us as brothers, as men of God, devoted men of God, being there for one another. So y'all going to call him and y'all going to check on him this week. You're going to make sure he's good. You're going to have prayer with him and help him to trust the brothership Help them to trust godly friendship, covenant friendship. If you're not ready for that yourself, don't bother that man. If you can't honor covenant, don't you dare touch him or say nothing to him. But we don't need no more failed foolishness in the church. This is where brotherhood and sisterhood is supposed to be the pattern of the world. No, don't let it be by itself. Don't let her stand by herself. Someone keep her arm around her. The Lord's still healing her. And so I want you to prepare yourselves for the community of God. So when they come, you'll know how to minister and love on him. Bring him into who he's called to be. The Lord is with you, sir. And take a deep breath. Let that pressure go. Because all of us have been there. Let that pressure go. You ain't got nothing to prove in here. We know you're a man. And we all done fell short, but we get back up. And we keep trying. We done lost jobs. We done lost this. But we get up and we get back and we do it. We, we do what we got to do until it do what it do. 
So be encouraged. You may have failed, but you're not a failure. So let that go. Let that ego go, because we all done been there. And if you keep, if you stay in the process, you come out of this thing. And then you're going to lead other men. And you're going to say, listen, let me tell you, I know where you're at, because this is where I was. So you will become a leader of men. But take your time and let the Lord process you through. It takes time. You won't be, you, you'll be different, but you, you still got some work. So next Sunday, you might be struggling with a couple of things, but you're on your way. You're going to get better. 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 You're going to get everybody under the sound of my voice. You're going to get better. You're going to get better. You're going to get better. Don't give up because you have a struggle. Look at it and say, now I got a courage. I now know what I must now conquer. And you're going to be just fine. I tell you that. Come on and give God praise in this house. Before, before we leave, before we go, <clears throat> I want to honor the Lord today with a seed before the Lord, just a seed of honor. And then it doesn't matter the size, just a seed of honor of what the Lord has done today. I know y'all probably did everything, but... <laughs> Charlie, you, you, you don't bankrupt the people. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but we're going to sow a seed. Just bring it. Just bring it quickly. Bring it quickly. Y'all make sure he get everything. Make sure she's good. Your love. Make sure she's good. What? Are you here? You, gonna, you coming into the family too? What's your name? Chandelier? Is that like Chandelier? But Chandelier. Got it. Do you have the Holy Ghost? Do you, have you ever received the Holy Ghost? You sure? I know. Raise your hand. Come on, let's meet him. Let's talk to him. Now open up the well. Come on, prophet. Open that gift up. Open that well up. Come on here. I clear the dirt off of your well. I clear the dirt. Come on here, come on here. Come, there you go. Ha, ah, come on here. Come on, come on, come on. Open that well up. Come on in here. Come on in here. Come on, it's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. Romanando Sunday Cosabando see. It's time. Come on, church. Come on, Romatande Cosi. Roma Mamba, come on, come on, it's time, come on, come on, open up, open up, Romasa, come on, open up, come on, come on, Reba Bam Su Comba Datasa, Boom Batande Kosi, Roma Mamba, come on, worship, Roba Tande, say, Roba Bam Su Kosa, Bande Kosi, yes, God, yes, God, Ha, Reba Monsi, Hama Mamba, the Lord is still ministering. I need a favor. Mr. Nesbitt, the next time I'm believing God that you're going to lay your cane on that altar and it's going to stay. I'm believing God for that. Now watch this. We're going to keep pressing this because this is really our function. And some of y'all see miracles and you don't even know what's going on until the day you need one. So you better learn how to rejoice when you see other people break through. You better learn how to rejoice because you may have to throw down a cane in the days that come in the name of Jesus. How my tone see Peace, peace be unto you, daughter. Peace, you have not failed. You didn't do nothing wrong. Let it go. Let it go. There you go. 
Don't you grieve yourself to death. Recomando si. I speak peace to your life. Romo si. Peace. In amando so. In the name of Jesus. Romo si eco. Everyone's standing. Come on, we're about to go. We're about to go. Well, the Holy Ghost is staying, but some of y'all done got bored. I'm going to let y'all go home and let the Holy Ghost keep working. Do what he do. That, that girl's got to work in her. That girl's got to work in her. That girl's got to work in her. Yemanando so you will have the ears and eyes and mouth of God. God will start to visit you. Hey, he will begin to speak to you. Hey, comando. And you're going to need to keep a notebook and a tape recorder by your beds. I'm speaking to both of you. The Lord will talk to you both. He will bring you into divine visitations. He will open your spirit up that he will begin to show you the things to come. And you will have to pray and you will have to put them in your books of journals and keep them as historic record of what the Lord has done. You will be a scribe unto the Lord. He will come and tell you to write these things down. In the name of Jesus. Let's, let's all standing, all standing. What's your name? Brian, what do you do? What do you do? International paper? Aren't you in IT or something like that? Aren't you in IT? IT? Aren't, I thought you was in IT. Paper mill. Is that where I worked when I was in college? Union camp? worked there when I was in college. It made me go back to college. <laughs> so The Lord's ministry. So when I release you, let the Holy Spirit continue to minister upon these daughters and upon this son in the name of Jesus Christ. Have we sown our seed? I didn't pay attention. Okay. Bless the name of the Lord. All hands raised before the Lord. see more and more of this. Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, seal this moment of eternity and time in the name of Jesus. Lord, I declare peace upon them all. Traveling grace and mercy be upon them, and I declare the Father's blessing upon them in the name of Jesus. I declare the shalom of God. Nothing missing, nothing broken, nothing lacking. Lord, shine your face upon them. Let your peace be upon them. Lead their path. Guide their steps. Bring them into prosperity, healing, wholeness, opportunity, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, peace of God. And I declare, Lord, that even as the days may get darker, that their lights will get brighter. And wherever they go, the entire kingdom will be with them. I declare the blessings of the Lord be upon them right now in the name of Jesus. I declare it, I decree it, and it is so, and so it is. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen and amen. You may go in peace and may the peace of God be upon you. Hug about five or six people before you go in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.